Um, I work at the National Physical Laboratory as a research scientist, but a while ago I used to teach um, physics, and I've kept on producing resources for teachers to use, and this is a video produced by students who came to me for work experience. They produced the video themselves. This is what we used uh, for the input to the program. We only wanted to use the top and the base. Um, so we cut the wire and we found there were three wires. There was a screen, a red, and a white. Using this multimeter, we found that the, um, the screen connected to the base and the red connected to the top. We were then able to use this um, to install it and get rid of the white and then create a connection. Yeah, that seems to be producing the pulse as we expected. So that's great. We know the hardware is working now. Okay, here we scaled up this little shape that we had earlier. And um, we took a longer tube and made wraps at regular intervals down the tube. And then we connected the coil, which makes up all these wraps, and uh, different audio plugs into the computer. So uh, when we jump back up through this, we'll be able to see like on the oscilloscope a peak for every coil. So now we're just demonstrating that. Produced by the magnet traveling through. There was a peak for every coil. We also wanted to look into uh, what the difference is in terms of orientation when you open the magnet through, whether we drop north first or south first through the tube. And so what we did was we recorded two waves produced by north first and south first. The blue represents north, orange south. And we found that um, dropping it north or south first makes a, reflect a perfect reflection of the other because it means that. Um, uh, the fields are cutting through in opposite directions and so it's not top. Here we have a stored waveform which we've just produced. There are three methods we can process them to plot calculate the acceleration due to gravity. Method one uses the formula of B plus U plus AT. This is the video's 30 second warning. Yes, the formula of B squared equals U squared, U squared plus 2AS. And the third is S equals S plus UT plus R AT squared. We found that method two produced the best results over repetition. We also wanted to investigate whether weight would change it, because we wanted to see whether attaching a weight above the magnet when we dropped it through would uh, change the accuracy of the results. So what we did was... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you will never know if the weight made a difference to the magnet. Convince